In one of your interviews, I remember you saying that you feel it's hard for women to be successful in the industry. Mm -hmm. Do you actually believe that now and has anything changed? Um, yeah, I do think I still believe that now. Um, I think as you get older as a woman, especially for me, going from being 16 when I first started out in this industry to now and I'm nearly 10 years, 11 years on, I still have struggles but I know how to deal with them better. Mm -hmm. um, I know how to fight for my rights in a less emotional way. Um, but I love being a woman, and I, yeah, which is a good thing to say, you know, and, and I've really embraced it as I've got older, so. And is Masterpiece a yes. reflection of you? Oh, it's, it, every time I even just hit seeing those, you know, those young kids sing it, every single one of them is singing it in a different way, taking it into themselves personally and, and singing it a different way, and that's, for me, is what that song's about. Every time I perform it, some people are crying, some people are celebrating, some people are dancing, um, the lyrics are so never-ending. Like, a, a, a 10-year-old could sing it and an 80-year-old could sing it and still have the same feeling of what the song's about. So yeah, it was lovely. It was such a nice surprise. Who's your biggest inspiration? My mum. She's taught me to be so many things and understand the layers of myself. She's probably one of the first, if not the first person that's been honest with me about maybe negative parts of me that other people would be scared to say, you need to work on this, even from when I was younger. You know, it's so funny now and people say to me, like, you're so specific and you're so driven and, and you know, and you push people to their limits. My mum's been like that with me and my sisters and raised very independent, confident, very emotional but controlled women and I just, as you get older, I think all of us can probably understand this, is that you really start to understand, like, parents, you just think they're parents and that's it, you know? And then as you get older, you realise, like, 30 years ago, she was me. Not me, but, like, she was young and... Same things, and you just start to go, wow, like, you dedicated your life to me and my sisters and... She's never not been there. Like, she called me and she was like, I'm flying out for your birthday, it's my birthday in like three weeks and I'm going to be working on The Voice in Australia and I don't really want to do anything because I'm working and you know, and I didn't think anyone would remember and she phoned me and she was like, I'm coming out and I'm like, mum, you want to get on a 24 hour flight to come and see me? She's like, obviously, yes. Like, you're my baby, like, of course I'm going to be there. So, there's just, she's just like the best woman ever. And if I was a young girl who looks up to Jessie J as a role model, yeah. what would you say to me? Be healthy. Be happy, um, love yourself from the inside out, make a plan, have a list of dreams that you, that you may not achieve, but so you have something to work towards. Um, and just enjoy yourself, you know? Understand that not everything's gonna go your way, um, but just work hard and, and, and do whatever you love to do and try and do that every day.